from an itty bitty cup head. Once and then I've already made a bun. Yeah, picking up steam. Wonder why they call me hot head. Struck a deal with the devil. Now I'm racking up debt. Yes, I made a dumb bet. Nobody took it upset. I'm a cup of trouble. Every see my mug shot. Yes, yeah, stupid front on my finger gun. And you drop dead. Wanna fuck your bosses? Super more jobless. They'll never stop me from running like a posse. I'm a full cup. Don't you ever try to top it. You can never touch it, but you can kick the bucket. I'm meant to be drunk from, but not to be trusted. Heads up in the deck. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to another race here of Cuphead, second match between 2C Plus and Jason2890. I got the name right this time around. Uh, let's let's wish them good luck to both of them. They're uh, ready to start Mission in just a moment. Um, so, that being said, I think the boat racers are ready, and yeah, well, we're about to start. This is Mr. Dino Zero to Dream here at the commentary. <laughs> Jason1407, yeah, I keep having a lot of issues with those numbers right there. And good luck here to both of the runners. Uh, second match between these two. Yesterday we saw Jason winning a low percent, really, really close match. So, Juicy decided to counter pick again with Roundabout. We just saw Roundabout earlier with Island Walk and Alima Hera. It was a really good race as well. It, is, it was working pretty good for. It was working pretty good for Alan Walk earlier, but then. Uh, then Kaliba was able to actually get back from behind and well we saw the results Calabar was able to advance to the next round against SVD Wolf and now Lucy is trying to fight his spot in the next round in the semi-finals against Jason which currently has a score of 1-0 against Lucy Plus Well, hopefully we will see a win from 2C so that we see a third match between these two rounds. So right now we see that, uh, well, they're going to be trying to do that clip. The reason why they need to do the clip here in the training room is because they cannot be using the B shooter. And we see Jason actually having a lot of trouble with it right now. I mean, we're going to have a race here in the clip only. <laughs> So they, they look like they're both just like dancing. I like more the strat that Island Walk showed me to be uh, for this uh, clip to do a little bit of a dash to probably set up. And we see 2C actually getting it right now, getting outside of of the training room. Uh, Jason still struggling with the clip right there. Uh, I know you guys cannot see the face for Jason, but <laughs> he's smiling a lot for not getting the clip right now. Uh, but yep, there you go. They finally bought the clip. And they're gonna be moving to get the four coins and then purchase the roundabout. So again, the reason why they need to do that clip is because it's faster to first fall is pacifist. Uh, and usually it's easier, but that clip is a little bit... I don't want to say random, but inconsistent. Maybe it's the proper word. Okay, so they both have the roundabout now. And again, remember that the timer on the screen is just RTA, but that's just a reference for you guys. And the actual winner of the match is decided via, uh, via the in-game time, the time without those that both of the runners have on their very own screens, showing uh, with the 
life splitter the way it works it automatically causes the timer to bring the break so so you may be seeing one or the other maybe being a little bit more ahead of the other one but in reality that might not be the exact case when the rate is pretty close and that's because some load times are longer in one speed than in the other in one speed than in the other it really depends on on like what are the specs on your PC and how many things you have running and stuff like that so that's why it's more fair to actually have the lights with timer we see okay you see they're having a Fight right there, and they're pretty much uh, finishing the vegetables at the same time, and they're gonna be heading into the Ruby and Brooks fight. I hope you guys can hear me properly. I hope the audio levels are fine, but if you want me to any changes to any audio levels, please let me know, and I will be glad to do so. Okay. okay, so loading screens are faster. Yeah, it looks looking like okay, so loading screens are faster. I'm gonna be letting you know. So 2:27 is the time uh, for 2C Plus going into Ruby Cross, and 55 was the time uh, going into Ruby and Cross. Okay, so yeah, 2C Plus is about 30 seconds ahead. Okay, so right now. So Street Fighter Warriors right here having different attacks at the beginning. With to see getting the Yoga Fire and uh, Jason getting the Hadoukens and then we see them switching attacks now. Uh, let's see if they can actually get the second phase here. I think that's possible. I'm not pretty sure. I'm not pretty sure what's it uh, like the attack pattern that you have to do. And we see that Jason actually got it. Uh, well, Tushi has to fight against the second phase for Rivian Crooks. This might put Jason into a little bit of advantage here uh, compared to this boss. And then he's got Tiger. Tiger representing Sagat from Street Fighter as well. Uh, I usually get attacked that a lot of people doesn't really like that much, but in either Tusi and Jason, I don't expect that attack causing any issues. Actually, when you're a little bit more experienced in this fight, the one attack that you don't want to see is the Bulls, because the Bulls is like super random to be able to avoid the one that goes below, and sometimes you need to go and step like super super back, and yeah, <laughs> it doesn't, it's not good. Okay, okay, let me let me turn down the audio a little bit here for the game. Thank you for letting me know that, uh, Luigi. Let me know if it's better now. Right, so... Jason getting here into Le Grande, aka Arela Grande, entering at a 433. So, I think they're even out a little bit. I'm gonna let you guys know what time is the time that Luca... Uh, Juicy enters to be the granted. So 417. So yeah, Jason win a little bit of time. He won like 15 seconds of that fight. But um, plus is still a little bit ahead right now. Even though again it doesn't look like it is just because uh, this thing is not really calculated with the game time, the time without loads. So let's see uh being known as being a super super troll, uh, I think it can troll you a lot with roundabout because it's hard to actually hit him uh, as many hits as you would like because of how fast and how erratic the movement of the Dumpstone is. However, I think Jason had a pretty good fight. Let's see how much he ended up with right now. Let's see, 44. Okay, okay. We saw the other couple runners earlier today getting a 45, so I think a 44 is good. And we'll see what 2C Plus gets here. So to see with a 44 as well, so they're pretty much even on that fight as well, as well. and they're going to be heading into Hilda, Hilda being the first uh, flying boss, and I need to get here the airplane, they need to do the blueprints, learn how to control this little machine, this little flying machine to fight stars right now. Good day for us. Well by the moon and stars, the constellations. So here we're gonna be seeing a little bit of the damage boost right there, throwing one EX at Yelda. And then we saw Taurus. Ole. Ole. Just like Spain. Little ha ha ha, no tornadoes. Uh, getting that 5 EX attack right there, and he's gonna get another damage boost here, and if everything went well, he's gonna completely skip the second transformation, which it didn't happen, 
but it's fine. It's having a good fight so far. The difficult part about build that is that you take no intended damage uh, due to how strong works. I mean, due to how the faster fight works. So pretty much you don't have anything, any room for mistakes because one extra hit is gonna kill you. Cuphead only has three HP. Two fire damage boosts are this fight for the fast version of the fight. And anything like below 110, it's always good. Like 110 is like uh, the average, I want to say. Anything about above 110, it's kind of bad. But anything below 110 at the end of this fight is good. It's pretty much the same fight in every single category. Let's see, Let's see what they got in here. So 109, that's a good fight for Jason. Let's see what is the time for Juicy uh, Plus. You can see you need to avoid the yellow UFOs from behind, and you need to avoid the red UFOs from the front. And I think he plus actually got a good time on this fight as well. Let's see, he's got a 108, so it's a one second faster than what Jason got. Yeah, so they both having a pretty good heal the fight. And they just gotta deal with the RNG health fest that the Cagney is before they can actually deal the island number one. I think Roundabout is a, a weapon that works pretty good with how fear Cagney patterns can be sometimes. Because even, like, like you can see Jason over there trying to avoid some attacks certain times, and that hit still hits Cagney because how Roundabout works, that it reaches a certain distance before going back. So sometimes you will see, be seeing these two runners uh, actually uh, aiming backwards uh, to get a little bit more damage or to try to set up uh, shots before the next hitbox of the boss appears and stuff like that. So far pretty good fight here from Jason. Uh, i there a little bit to avoid those uh, little attacks. And I think it's a pretty good fight. Let's see what Juicy Plus is getting right now. 47, okay, that's a good time. So 50 is definitely a good cacti fight. I think that damage, I mean, that little strike to avoid things with the EX, and this is heading right now to island number 2. And a 48, so they pretty much even out between Hilda and Cagney, uh, like, so I believe Jason's still like 15 seconds behind. We'll see in a moment. I'm gonna, I think, uh, I think they're go both going to Bepi. There's no reason really to go to Baroness Bombomon first in this uh, version of the fight. So 907 was the time that Bepi spawned for uh, Jason. Let's see what's the time for Jason plus. The reason why you go to Bepi first instead of Baroness Bombomon like in all bosses is because you're not going to be getting the mini bombs for the plane. Because you, you're only allowed to use one gun and that applies for the plane as well. I mean on the plane you cannot use roundabout but you of course can use uh, only the machine gun, the fish shooter. So 849 with is down for 2 plus. So yeah, that's still still like almost uh, 18 seconds. So far, uh, Jason here getting a good fight, getting that green horse right there. Oh, and Juicy getting two damage already. That's gonna be a super 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 scary fight. It's gonna be. Need to be played a little bit safe here because Bepi is one of those bosses that if you reach with just one HP to the very last phase, it can be super troll. I mean, it's good that he's got the green horse right there. Let's see if we can get rid of it in just one cycle. It was a little bit weird of a start. Yeah, he got rid of one cycle on the green horse here, getting good RNG as well, but it's gonna be. It's gonna need to be really, really careful here on the last phase, getting just with one HP. Asaka, uh, I'm, I'm not playing the tournament, I'm not sure if that question was from you or for Luigi. Luigi is going to be playing like super early <laughs> for me, so that's why no restream is going to be allowed, I mean, available for uh, Luigi versus Willy. So, and, and, I called it, I hate to have the commentator power right now, but I called it that uh, Tusi had to be really, really careful in the last phase, like Bepi last phase with just one HP is always a super scary phase because many, many things can go randomly, like it's not, it's never the same pattern, the way that the penguins appear and the way that they throw, they throw the baseball balls at Jan, so 
this close is gonna need to be uh, streaming against the current right now, and he's gonna have to cross. That maybe Jason makes a mistake or something. So far, Jason's having a good race, and we'll see. We'll see how how things even out. I mean, there's so many many bosses behind uh, left, especially something like the dragon. The dragon would be one of the like biggest trolls here. Let's see if he got sub 130. If you are only with P shooter and you got sub 130, that's pretty good. 133, okay, that's still decent. You can get like 128 or 127 without the bombs. Uh, with the bombs, I don't even know what's a super proper time. I think you can get like 124 with bombs, maybe. Yeah, a little bit of crowd here, Shrinker. You should pause and all are crowd for Jason, so. Which, which team you're on right now, guys? Type 1 if you're on Pushing Plus team, Type 2 if you're on Jason's team. To advance to the next phase of the brackets in the playoff. And whoever wins this match is gonna be facing the winner between Wellison and Luigi. On the other side of the bracket, we already have uh, Wolf and Caliban Era waiting for their date match to be determined. It's gonna be a really, really good match. So I'm pretty excited about seeing that one. <laughs> so Wolf is a 1-2, he's on both teams, and Island Walk is also on both teams. <laughs> so, one thing I really like about the Cuphead community is that I think it's a pretty, pretty close community, and you can see that with nobody taking actual sides. <laughs> they both shrink for the both community uh, teammates, so that's pretty, pretty fair. That's a really nice uh, thing right there. So yeah, let's go vote. Let's go win the best. And, I mean, both of these runners are super, super good in different categories. We have seen Jason, like, killing the categories that involve any type of run and gun stages or any type of weird strats, like using of charms and stuff like that. And 2C being super, super consistent in, like, a lot of legacy categories and other type of categories as well. So we see somebody from Jason here, Phoenix Affinity number two. Let's go. Jason moving on into Wally Warbles now, while uh, a little bit behind, it's gonna be here uh, 2C, but not so behind, incredibly enough, even with that, uh, even with that dead, he's still gonna need to fight better next one, but it's just about like one boss behind. Uh, again, this can't really, really change still uh, in the Dragon, considering also that Jason has faster loader times. gonna try to tell where they're sitting at as soon as they're heading into island 3 that's when I'm gonna be doing the, the check mark really know where they're at and how far behind is one from the other well we see right now that Jason is having a good wild verbal fight applying the proper boss strat uh, kind of news, the uh, discovery on how to spawn this last uh, Wally Warble space faster. Hard is out. Nice aiming over there for Jason. Nice RNG overall and a good Wally Warble fight for him. Jason is Batman. Batman. Jason's Batman. That's not right. I'm Batman. <laughs> C plus is amazing, yeah. C plus is pretty good. C++, C-sharp, the programming languages that you can know, he's having a clutch fight right now, and he's able to close that out 
without losing another life. Like that, that last phase of Baroness Bomomon with only one uh, HP can also be a little bit tricky, especially because of the head uh, that is following you at the very end of that phase right there. Hey, bro, well, well, it's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> one minute wall is definitely pretty good. So here we are with the, with the so mentioned dragon, the killer of like all the runners, all the categories, all the casual player, the crusher of dreams. Dragon, green, match, six. <laughs> Just the way the mechanics, that, the way it works, the, how random the platforms can be, and that sometimes it really leaves you in super, super, super tricky situations. Once you're used to the fight, it's not that bad, but man, the dragon can always cause a nightmare in any runner. And what is especially so hard about the roundabout and this dragon is last phase. Uh, because the last phase, you can actually break the, the, the fire that shoots at Dragon is throwing at you, and it's gonna be splitting into more and more fire. And you can play it safer, not throwing any shots only until the dragon throws a flame tower. But that really, really loses a lot of time. So let's see, we can see actually as soon as the phase started, Jason getting a hit once right there. But he's still trying to decide to just do the damage boost here. Oh, that was a little bit scary. Okay, so the flame tower, the flame tower is a little bit of like a safe. Uh, Part of the, of the fight, and I think he's gonna be good. Okay, he's got one HP only, and uh, he's good. He's able to kill him without any much trouble. And we see Plus having trouble of himself with bad RNG here at Wally Warble. Going to the left, hit only with one HP. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it was a nice one. It was pretty close and clutch fight right there. So Jason, I'm entering here at 1747 mark. So I'll let you know when 2C Plus is done with the fight of Green Mastic. At what time does he enter to island number three? <laughs> new a one HP water. We have a new champ for that title now. AKA 2C Plus, the 1 HP Warrior. A great slam and then some. You're up! Through Ruby. Ruby. The wife of the Shirios, uh, the. Getting her own empire there. Showing why she's the Queen Bee. And. Good RNG right now for Jason, getting the middle pattern attack here. Usually, you wanna get at least. Like from the second phase of uh, Ruby Honey Bottoms, you want to have her at least once on the middle pattern. Because that's the one that takes longer, that's the one that you can do the most damage at. And then, yeah, have her either left or right is pretty much the same. And the reason why you want this is to try to be able to heal her before she goes into the third phase, into the third transformation. No, like, super parry strats right there to get a lot of EX attacks. Throwing as many EX as possible here, and yeah, very, very, very nice kill right there for Jason. Stay hydrated, bot. I need to drink some water, so I'm gonna be paying attention to stay hydrated, bot. I drink some water. But you guys should drink water as well. One HP here for 2C Plus. What I was saying, this fight can be very, very scary. Oh, but the flame tower, that's like the safety net right there, and he's got a super nice kill at Green Magic as well. But I think I said uh, it was 17 7 when Jason entered Island Tree. So I think this is it's like one minute behind so far. With time, uh, considering just time without load. behind right now. Yeah, let's go three bottoms. He's having a pretty textbook fight here with Dr. Paul. 
ready for it. Bullet uh, take advantage of the bit of the vulnerability there. He's gonna okay, he didn't wanna go for those parties right there. Uh, he's getting a good a good uh pink bullets, good pink bullet pattern right now. He didn't look advantage of all of them, but it wasn't really like ideally for Dr. Ka you want a lot of uh of pink bullets uh, right in front of you to get as many parties as possible and take advantage of the EX attacks, especially in the moments when he's at the barrier in between you and Dr. Kong. Funny. You see, getting pretty much the same RNG that Jason had with at least one middle pattern attack, so let's see if he can get the quick kill here in Rumor Honey Bottom. King Wong's Hell is Station play. Jason decided to pay a visit to Broadway right now. Oh wow, that was an even faster kill that Missy uh, got there for Rumor, and he's trying to cut a little bit of time right now. Oh my, wow, later. Pop it. I don't even know what I'm saying. I know, like, pretty much saying what my name is in Japanese, and that's it. <laughs> so I should stop reading Japanese that I don't know what I'm saying. I can get trolled pretty easily. So far here for Juicy Plus, taking care of those uh, aiming uh, bombs. Now, fighting the heart, a little bit of a hard time being able to land as many hits as possible to the heart. He's got the 5EX though, so he's gonna be able to kill them with the head right that. Immediately killing the head with the 5EX attacks. And now, let's see what the pattern here for the pink bullets. The pink bullets are completely random, and there was one, but he would have get hit if he tried to go for that one. He's gotten some, but not in a really, really good time uh, to make the risk it for the parry. I'm gonna get the 5 uh, nuke right now, and there he goes, uh, using it as a little bit of damage boost there. And we see Tom and Jerry now also on Jason's uh, part of the screen. I don't think Jay, uh, Tom and Jerry is a hard boss for this category. I think he can be a little bit of a fan in other categories. I think in roundabout just lands super well to be able to avoid attacks and keep doing damage to Werner Wehrman as much as possible. I'm uh, not sure, Gio. I, did, I didn't pay much attention to the Sally fight. Go ahead and see it again. Yep, and like I said, Tommy Yuri shouldn't cause so much trouble. However, Jason had only one HP there in the last phase, so. The round about the X hit here on the umbrella. I don't think the umbrella, I mean, maybe the umbrella wastes uh, hits on the roundabout total number of hits. However, I don't think that damages Sally at all. I think it's just there to try to tank uh, hits for Sally and try to hit you as well. So even though it sounds like it does a hit, I don't think it does any damage to Sally on that one. So. Now we are Captain Pretty Bird. Captain RNG Bird. Bird is known as that. Starting with the famous, or most likely infamous octopus gun. Five in a row. Getting one hit right there for Jason. So the bad thing about the octopus gun is that you want to be standing right in front of Brian Bird as much as possible. However, that octopus gun always messes up with your plants. And that little shark right there is what you want to see from Brian Bird's attack. And be careful of the treasure chest at the top or the barrel. It's more likely like a barrel of alcohol or something like that. He only punish me, but he's got 5 EX attacks, so he 
does it good, she's gonna be able to close the fight right here, but just gotta be careful with those attacks right there, and he's on with it, yeah, nice fight right there. So, I'm gonna tell you how much he's behind, when to see plus is done with Rainy Bird. So, 2520 after the loading screen for Jason, so we'll see when Juicy Plus gets there. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. Alan Maria and Tom and Jerry right now on the screens. Alan Maria being a, a one of the favorite bosses of a lot of people, I think it's a really cool design. It's not my favorite boss, but I think it's a super cool design. And she's a good fight, however, depending on the attack patterns that she gets, it can be slower or faster. Ideally, you want to do as much 5 PX attacks as possible before the first phase end, because that's when you get the most parries right there. He only got one party, he ideally wanted to get to this phase with another 5EX attack, he's not gonna be able to get it. I mean, he's got Troll there, he's got the uh, Tone of Shame. And he goes a little bit in, uh, behind to be able to avoid these bullets. Oh, and it's getting a little bit scary right now. Last phase with 1 HP, most likely there should be an issue, especially because he can use that EX attack. Yeah, like that to get a little bit of the invincibility there as well as a lot of damage in the meanwhile causing a lot more damage there and it's on it's on so yeah as we uh well i going to show like uh we don't have a proper way to show in those times here because it would look like super unsync and stuff. However, I'm gonna be mentioning, like right now, that uh, Juicy Plus is fighting Rainy Bird. I'm gonna tell you where they are. So, Jason was able to give Rainy Bird the score screen at 2520. So that's gonna be the mark where we can know how far behind Juicy Plus is actually at right now. However, Luigi Bloss has to be careful and not to die here if he still wants to get a chance at this race. And he's not getting the best pattern from Briny Bird. Briny Bird being super troll right now. Nice dash right there to avoid those attacks. And another Octopus on, man, he's getting the worst attack patterns at Luigi Bloss right now. And he's not got a lot of EX attacks right there to be able... Oh, wow, that was super close. Gotta play a little bit safe here. Jason okay, so heading into the clean faces right now. So, we're about to see how far the bus is really behind right now. That's at 2636, that's a minute and 16 seconds behind for Juicy Plus leaving, uh, leaving Briny Bird. And yeah, <laughs> like what Luigi just said. This one's having a really decent. Oh, uh, I, was that a one cycle last phase? I think that was a last, uh, one cycle last phase, right? for the train, which was pretty good, actually. I think he used the strat that Luigi came out, I mean, uh, that 2C Plus came out for the last phase on the engine, this category, just roundabout only. Now we see uh, 2C Plus fighting Calamaria right now. Let's see if he got a little bit of a better pattern for the pink parries. We're getting attacks that don't provide any pink parries at all. He's got the nuke right there. Gonna got the buff fish right now, so there's there's one party right there. There's a second party right there, a uh, third party right there. So that was amazing. Getting a super good luck right now for plus Ella Maria. But we're gonna be seeing him using that new to avoid uh, stone. Yeah, there you go. 
being able to get on Calamaria's face, getting a super faster uh, second face for Calamaria. Jason already fighting the ships right now. Fighting the ships. Uh, I think guys, we're gonna be seeing. I think it's gonna be number two, and then number one, and then number eight. No Mambo number five for these runners. They don't like Mambo number five. It's only three numbers, come on. I know it looks like a cube, but in reality it's more like a pyramid, I guess, because it's only three numbers. Or physics in Cuphead world work a little bit different than what we know them in real world, I guess. The domino ship here, throwing those 20 sided dice, like the Dungeon and Dragon dice. But no problem here for Jason. Pretty experienced runner. I don't think he's gonna have a lot of issues here with. Uh, with King Dice, even though he didn't got any hearts on his way. So, just for a little bit of safety uh, purposes, you want the RNG to throw hearts at you. Fighting the Ghost Train right now, getting as many hearts as possible there. I think he's gonna be using them right now, yep. And he's got a not two phase, but it's gonna be a really fast three phase, uh, second phase. For the Phantom Express, let's see how he does on the three phases. While well, Jason is playing a little bit of cool right now, he's trying to get that 8 ball. He's trying to score that 8 ball in the game right now. So for the game, when you score that 8 ball, the shot trying to get it in his way, but that shot is just so slow. They're not gonna be able to catch Jason. And Chusey getting a little bit of trouble here with the Phantom Express. Oh man, that was unfortunate. That was one of the parties from the Ghost that moved the train platform where he was is able to stand right there. And a very unfortunate death right there, which I think seals the deal now for Jason. Again, we still need to wait for what's the final load timer. I mean, time without loads, but that was very, very, very unfortunate right there. Playing a little bit of poker with the king, nice and he's got a full house, which was enough to take King Dice's hand right there. So only the devil in between Jason and the next phase, and the devil will have to be a super control devil for 2C plus to still get a chance, so... Lucy got a bet for the devil now. Or I wanna get Jason sell his soul to the devil or something. Otherwise, Good day otherwise, I think Jason's gonna be moving on to the next round again to the winner between multiple EG and Welly So TV. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to see that match uh, in a restream format. However, make sure to follow them both runners if you wanna know what's the result for that match. They're gonna be streaming them in their own channels. One very early hit here for Jason. The devil being a little bit of a troll right now, but not like sending low attacks so far. Good attacks for Jason to be able to keep doing as much damage as possible. HP heading into this phase for the devil should be good enough. I think there's gonna be a lot of trouble with Jason finishing the devil. Last phase, the phase where he's crying because he's already getting super hurt right there. And he's crying and he's done. GG to Jason right there. Hey Julie, what's up? How are you? Welcome, welcome to the stream, Julie. GG to Jason and he's healing the deal. Oh, I guess. Us. 
unfortunate deaths right there were too fast, but it was a good, uh, it was a pretty good race for Jason as well. Let's see if we can have uh, Jason in the commentary room. Uh, yeah, I think we have Jason. Hi, Jason. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Dino? Going pretty good. How about yourself? Pretty good. I was really happy with how I played this uh, this race, especially after how much I was dying in practice earlier today. <laughs> Yeah, it was definitely a pretty good uh, race right now. Uh, we, we only saw you having a lot of trouble at the clip at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have practiced that more. I just practiced it once earlier today and I got it like the third try, so I thought, oh, this will be easy. And I spent like probably 30 or 40 seconds trying to get it. Nice, nice. So yeah, 2C Plus unfortunately had a couple of uh, very, very bad deaths. So that's what set oh. him a little bit behind from you. Uh, that's a bummer. You're going to be heading against uh, either Wellyso or Multi Luigi. What do you think about that? Whew, the, I mean, <laughs> no one wants to go up against Luigi because Luigi is pretty much like a task spot. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be a great match either way. I've played against Wellyso maybe two or three times now in tournaments and races, and we seem to be pretty evenly matched most of the time. So. Uh, I think we'll probably have a much closer race if that ends up being the case, but I would, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I probably want to, to go against Welly, so just because uh, Luigi's pretty much unbeatable in tournaments, it seems. <laughs> I mean, to tell you the truth, I think if somebody can beat it, that might be you. You have been going to be <laughs> insane lately in, like, many, many categories, especially if they involve any type of, like, run and guns and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, the run and guns are my specialty, so... I'm glad that there's a, a couple of those categories that have those to choose from, at least. So, heading into this tournament, what was your strat? Like, you knew how it can work, like, uh, like the counter pick, the different choosing of categories. What was your strat coming into this tournament? Um, well, 2C Plus was the higher seed, so we, we started the elimination. I really am not good at bingo. I've only ever played bingo the one time. And I just, uh, I haven't spent enough time with it to really figure out the strategy. So I was for sure not going to want to play bingo. And, uh, and I, I don't really like the one gun categories as well. So whenever we were going through the first round choosing a category, I was eliminating those. And then 2C Plus is obviously eliminating the categories that are my strong suit, like the, uh, you know, all flags, full clear. Anything that involves, and he, I think he eliminated all bosses' legacy as well because he knows I've been playing that a lot lately. So, I guess my strategy is just if I uh, to, to try to play the ones that cater to my strengths, so like the running guns and uh, you know even um, all bosses' legacy. Since I just because I've been playing that a lot lately, just uh, trying to play the ones that I've been practicing and kind of staying away from the running uh, the one guns. But two C plus knows they're my weakness. He chose. You know, we ended up playing Loberson in the first round. He chose one gun roundabout, which, you know, based on how I played whenever we had it as a race, um, whatever week that was, week five or six or whatever that was, uh, I, I died probably four or five times in that race alone. So he knew that uh, that was going to be a good choice. And I just happened to play uh, play the best I've ever played in this category. It just uh, it was unfortunate for him that he had a few deaths. Yeah, but again, I, I think you, you did a, a really, really good run other than just a clip at the beginning. But other than that, I think you, you had a, a really good fight. Uh, there were a little bit of uh, difficult moments, I think, like Rainy Bird with just one HP or, <laughs> or like the Dragon also. Uh, it was certainly... Yeah, yeah I, was, <laughs> I was definitely uh, a one HP warrior a few of those times. I think there were maybe three or four bosses in a row in aisle three where I had one HP going into the final phase. and It was a little nerve-wracking, but luckily I... I kept it together. So if, let, let's say that it had gone if, hypothetically to a third match around here. Do you have any plans on what to choose for the third match? What three categories keep you? Yeah, three? so I think I think the way that uh, I think the way the tournament's set up. So so if two C plus won this round, I think he would have chosen the three categories, and I choose which one to play. If I remember correctly, I can't remember if that's how it goes or the opposite, but. I, I know think it's you that selected the three categories, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, if I select the three categories, I would have picked uh, All Bosses Legacy, Full Clear... Um, was it Full Clear Legacy? Yeah, Full Clear Legacy and, and, all, and uh, all Flags current patch. And then of those three, 2C Plus would probably pick 
All Bosses Legacy. Legacy, yeah. Yeah, because uh, he's got, I mean, he's got a better PB in me and, uh, than me on that. But I've I've just been playing that a lot lately. I don't know if he's been playing Legacy too much. So I think that would have uh, probably been his best chance. And then who knows what could have happened there. Well, and we see that Tushpas just finished. So let's see if he wants to join for a little bit of an interview. Okay. We see if uh, Tuzi Plus wants to join once again. Congratulations, Jason, for moving into the next round. You're now in the top four of this. Well, man, it's <laughs> fast, but it's got it has been a really big tournament. It's been going for like more than two months now with all the weekly races each week. I really want to thank everybody that has participated into the tournament, like being able to be here every weekend after every weekend. <laughs> and I mean. We're close to finishing it, but I'm definitely going to be missing this. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. And, and special, especially thanks to you. We should be the one thanks, thanking you just for taking all the time you yeah, you take out of your day to just uh, you know set up the restreams and, and commentate occasionally and, and you know, setting this up. You and uh, and everyone else, like especially 2C Plus as well, he's pretty much he's my number one commentator. Whenever I hear him in a race, it's just a... Uh, Really enjoyable. No offense, no offense to you, but Two C Plus has that. I, I has that. agree. I, I think Two C Plus is an amazing commentator. Mm -hmm. I really, really agree with that. And I think, yeah, he's gonna be joining here in a moment. Let's see. He's actually here right now. So, what's up, Two C Plus? How are you, dude? Yeah, you take out of your day to just uh, you know, set up the restreams. Two C Plus, good game. Commentate occasionally and then you know, setting this up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't really put up the greatest performance, but yeah, GG's man. Hey, that happens. That's the thing with Cuphead, you know, yeah. on any given day. It True. doesn't matter if you're a favorite or an underdog. If you just have that one run where you put things together and the other person makes a few mistakes, that's all it takes. Yeah. Man, that was that was rough. <laughs> that was rough. And I see you. The restream. How, uh, how long did you take to do the tutorial clip in the beginning? Because I spent a very long time doing that. <laughs> yeah, I spent quite a few uh, seconds there. I lost like 10 seconds compared to my PB there. Uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, GG, man. Like, uh, it's a tough category. Uh, and then seeing your time, I think that you had a deathless run, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a deathless run. And yeah. even with that, like, I spent so much time. You, you'll have to check out the. Uh, yeah, I'll check definitely. Out the, the restream uh, replay. So, yeah, I spent a lot of time. <laughs> on the tutorial clip in the beginning, but I had a lot of really solid boss fights, a lot of really close calls, and I just, uh, you know, got felt like I got lucky a few times, but it ended up uh, being an overall pretty good run. Yeah, nice. Like, uh, your, your time seeing, like, below 34 is just, like, insane. So Yeah, whenever I saw that at the end, I thought, whoa, this is, you know, within <laughs> a minute of world record, and I knew I spent, like, at least 30 seconds during the tutorial clip alone. <laughs> so exactly. I, just, uh, I had a lot of, a lot of lucky yeah. RNG on fights. Yeah. So I asked uh, Jason what was his strategy coming into this uh, tournament. So can you tell us what was your strategy uh, coming into this tournament, uh, Tuzi Plus? Like uh, this uh, particular match or no, in general? You don't know how to select like, or counter pick or stuff like oh. that. I mean, it depends on the, the opponent, right? Uh, like I know Jason, for example, I think I said that yesterday as well. Like he's by far way better like than me in uh, all the categories that I don't have any restrictions. So my game plan was to like limit the uh, wildness, I guess, of the Jason <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, with, uh, you know, low percent um, and run the bow right now, I think it was like my best chances of winning. Definitely. I agree. Those are definitely my worst categories. Or even double bingo, if you ended up choosing that one, that would uh, have <laughs> yeah. been rough too. But that's also, you know, it just depends on how the bingo card ends up. That could go either way. Exactly, yeah. But yeah, nevertheless, I think it was, like yesterday's race was closer, so I think it, it was better for the viewers as well. Uh, this one was not as much, but uh, you got to see one good run at least, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Congratulations to C Plus, you were part of the top eight here uh, at this tournament that was actually organized uh, from uh, you, you organized the whole thing. So congratulations on the organization and also on being top eight. Like 
like it, it, like this like really really tested tons and tons and tons of skills for all the runners we could see week by week some runners getting first place just crushing it but the next week just getting like six seven or like one of the last places and i think it was a really really interesting format how this worked and it really tests like the many 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 different skill sets that cophead can require for different categories it being a like very kind of simple a straightforward game i'm so happy how it works out that there's so many variables in the speedrunning community yeah definitely and an interesting stat you said that you know runners had mixed results in the weekly races uh in the first five races we had five different winners which is incredible oh, if nice. you think about it yeah and on the week seven we had a sixth uh like different winner so uh that was, that, that is insane like you, you can clearly see that you know a lot of runners do better in uh other categories than you know yeah it's been runners. a great tournament so far too c plus you did a, a great job doing your best to keep things fair and uh pretty much well balanced for everyone just so that everyone has a, you know has a chance to yeah. to have their week or to uh you know, to, to play well or even just to join and have fun just it's been it's been a blast i think glad to hear that uh, most of the runs enjoy so that is the best thing i can hear uh but yeah uh for someone asking uh luigi and valisho match would not be restreamed because it's gonna be extremely early <laughs> and mr dino will probably not be awake at that time yeah it would be like um, at 3 a.m my time so I'm really so, sorry. Yeah. I, I wish I could have been able to redeem that, but it's just just too hard for yeah. me at that time in the night. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And uh, so far, like in this, moving on to the semifinals, I think that uh, so far the three runners that went to the semifinals are by far some of the... I think that they are the best speed speedruns that we have at this point. Um, I would add Luigi to the pool as well. Uh, so four runners. Uh, if Veliso makes the upset, because uh, I believe like Luigi has a really huge advantage in that match, uh, that would be really cool. Because Rene is a good guy, uh, and I really hope he does well against Luigi. No offense, Luigi. I just like want to see other people win. I don't know you. That's for sure. Exactly. Yeah, and also I'm I'm sick of Luigi winning everything. So <laughs> <laughs> someone's got to stop him, huh? <laughs> exactly. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Luigi is a great guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for me. Thanks uh, for the race, uh, Jason, and thank you. Yeah, Dino, thanks, a lot. thanks a lot. It's well, been great. No Good game. Uh, thank you both for uh, running this, and well, we'll see you in the semifinals, everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in. All right, uh, take care. Have a good day.